Hi, this is David Wicks, Chair of the Digital Education Leadership Program at Seattle Pacific University. In this screencast, I'm going to show you how you can create a collaborative assignment in Google Classroom. So I have two screens here. I have uh, on the left, I have the instructor's uh, screen or, or uh, browser window. And on the right, I have the student's browser window. And so uh, we're going to go into this test course as the instructor. And under the stream, we're going to create an assignment. And so I'm just going to call it collaborative assignment. And uh, just real general directions here, edit a manuscript as a class. So I'm having everyone in the class uh, edit the, this manuscript together. So I would give students instructions to make comments uh, in the paper uh, that eventually we can turn into modifications to finalize the manuscript. So uh, I've already created uh, the manuscript document on Google Drive for this class, and I've shared it with um, the students. So I'm going to go out and find that assignment. So I'll go in the classroom and go to this course, and here's this manuscript. So I'm going to add that. Three ways you can either let the students view the files as if they were just reading directions from the files and, and using something else to create the project. Students can edit the file. That's what we're going to do. Everyone can edit the same file. And the last one would be um, make a copy for each student. So if I wanted them to independently edit the manuscript and just see how they all did individually, um, that would be my choice. But I want to have them do this collaboratively, so I'm going to have students uh, editing the file. And then I'll go ahead and choose Click Assignment. Now, I would have chosen a date here um, for the assignment to be due, but I'm just going to leave the default there. OK, so now that assignment's ready, and I only have two students in my class. Uh, so they're, they would have both been uh, given this. So if we come to this page, um, we can come and see, and I'm refreshing that screen, just so that you can see that it now says that there's a collaborative assignment. So they could actually click directly on that link to go to it. Um, and I'm instead going to go into the course and show you how they would see it in the stream. So it's giving them information that it's due tomorrow, and so they'll want to open that assignment. So they'll click on Open. And um, here uh, they can see the directions for the assignment. So um, they can know if uh, when they're turning it in what they're supposed to do. Um, but this is, uh, again, where you would want to make sure that they uh, have the details they need. And in terms of the assignment details, here's the actual document. So I'm going to click on that link to open it. And then here's the manuscript. So with this being the manuscript, you know the student would go through and and be looking for um, uh, edits that need to be made. And so the student notices that there was an a citation here, so they select this, and under insert, uh, they choose to insert a comment. And so on the the side, we're seeing that comment, and they can say, you know, needs citation and click comment to make sure that that comment sticks. OK, so that this student has done their editing. They go through, uh, make all their edits. They would see any other students' edits in the document as well. Uh, and so when they're finished, they copy the link to the manuscript here. And they'll come back um, to the assignment and uh, click on my assignment. So there's. Uh, we're inside of the assignment right now, looking at the details, and when they're ready to submit it, they would click on the My, My Assignment portion of it. They would choose to add, and this is where I would think that um, I should be able to click on Google Drive and into the classroom, into the course, uh, and to be able to see it here. Uh, but I don't. I don't see it there. So I'm assuming that's because it's the instructor's original document that they shared. Um, so instead of doing it that way, under Add, if they choose to add the link, 
and then just paste the link to the document, add it, okay. Now it's going to let them turn it in. If they need to make any comment to me, they can at this time. Otherwise, they're going to just turn it in. And what you should see over here is that, well, now it'll switch to ha having one person have it done. Uh, so they choose to turn it in. Uh, again, they can add a private note here um, to the teacher. So if they had something that they struggled with and uh, didn't want to put it as a comment in the paper, this would be the place to put it. And so they turn it in. Okay. Now, any other student that works on it will see their comments because they're all sharing that same document. And then maybe in the assignment, they have to all agree before uh, they can submit it in together. In my assignment, they can do this independently together so they can be working on it whenever they themselves feel they've made all the edits, they can turn their assignment in. And then uh, back at the teacher's view, we see that the one is done and one's not done. So as a teacher then, um, I can go ahead and grade this. So I can click on that one that's done. And what I experienced before was uh, I had to refresh this first uh, before I could actually click on that. So I've refreshed it. Now when I click on it, it links me into that uh, student's assignment. Okay, and I can go and go ahead and click on the student um, to see what they've submitted. And so they submitted this link. Now, if I already have it open, I'll be able to see their comments. There's nothing special if I've just told them to link to this shared document. The shared document will be the same for all of us. Uh, so if I, I don't actually have it open, so I'll click on it now to see it. And I would go through and I would be able to see all students' comments. Uh, but in the way that I'm doing this, um, I would see specifically, uh, I would be looking specifically for this student's comment. So, and, and, and there is just one, uh, we only made one comment, but I see this needs citation. Whatever action I need to do with that, um, you know, if I so if I want them to find what the citation is, I maybe would reply back asking them to do it. Uh, they have the ability to resubmit the assignment. They can unsubmit it and then submit it again if it was an assignment that I was giving them that they had multiple opportunities at. Or you know, if the if the goal is just for them to identify where the mistakes are in the paper or what needs to still be done, um, you know, I can thank them for it and reply. And um, if this is finished now, um, I could click Resolve. And I would only do that if I actually put the citation in there. Um, but if I do click that it's resolved, um, I would be able to come up to this comment link here and click on it. And I would see all of the comments and whether or not they've been resolved. So as students are working on it, even if you as the instructor have resolved things and just so you see how this works, if I resolve it, it disappears from the line. So then another student comes and has the same issue. Uh, that wouldn't work well. So I wouldn't resolve it unless I knew this was um, something that another student wouldn't find an issue with. But I can come up to back up to comments here and see, um, you know, this is here. And I could choose to reopen it if I accidentally had uh, closed it. Um, so. Makes it a little mess messy there, but that's now back on the line. So if after I've looked at this student's work and they've completed it, uh, then I can come back to uh, Google Classroom, give this particular student a grade. So I'm going to give them 100. And the point values for this are, are pretty limited. It's the, uh, the options that you have are 1, 20, 50, 100, or ungraded. So, uh, you kind of have to work your own grading around that. Uh, but I'm just making all assignments worth of 100, and then I'll weight based on the type of assignment that it is, uh, and just group those assignments together and make them worth a certain percentage of the final course grade. So this is finished, and I can give them feedback here. Hopefully you would give more substantive feedback than I'm giving them, and you would post that. got everything, you've got your comment and everything, you can just click return. Um, I can give them more feedback here, but I've already given them feedback 
uh, so I don't need to do that. And I can click Return Assignment. And then now it's indicating that it's been returned to them. Then over on the student's view, we are seeing that it's been returned. And they're seeing the grade. They're also seeing the feedback that I've given them. And uh, again, if they needed to resubmit it, they'd have that possibility there. That's pretty much all there is to it. If I go back to the uh, main page, I do see that one was done and one, one is not done. Uh, and in terms of that being done, it's one has submitted it. It doesn't give me any indication uh, until I click on that one uh, whether or not um, I've actually done anything. And again, it looks like I need to refresh this in order to click on it. Finding out early that it's a little glitchy, um, but if you have some patience, uh, it looks like they've got the start of a, a fairly nice uh, tool. Wouldn't call it a learning management system yet, but uh, an assignment manager for sure. That's it. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.